Kia ora, ko Angela Toku Ingoa. Um, my name is Angela um, and I am a pediatric trainee um, that's taken a break from clinical medicine to run my own company um, called Clearhead. Clearhead is an online one-stop shop platform for mental health and well-being where we use um, artificial intelligence to help you figure out what your mental health challenges, triage you um, and then match you up with a whole range of resources as well as self-management tools um, that matches your presenting complaint. Um, so the reason I started Clearhead was because I got um, increasingly frustrated with being able to use technology to transform our healthcare system uh, within um, the hospitals and um, decided to do my own thing instead. Um, one of the things that I learned um, through sitting on um, boards um, since I was the age of 21 um, for example, I was on the board um, with the National Shared Care Plan, which is a um, group that rolled out a health IT project um, nationally around care coordination for patients with chronic conditions. And what I learned from a mentor um, who was the chair of the group at the time was that he said, um, because of your age, you will always um, come up to barriers against uh, established hierarchy. And the best way to influence is actually, instead of just telling them what you think, ask the right questions so that they come to the conclusions themselves. And that way you manage their ego and you um, move the agenda forward. Um, like I mentioned before, one of the challenges that I faced in my career um, was um, being able to kind of introduce new ideas um, in large established organizations. And what you find is that there's lots of good people with good intention, um, but what they come up against is um, the inability to do things beyond um, business as usual. One of the reasons that is the case um, is a, uh, when you're in the public sector, um, people are slightly more risk adverse, and so you're not going to see the type of visionary leadership that you need to kind of truly transform a healthcare sector. Um, so align with, along those lines, the biggest challenge for introducing any sort of um, technology in healthcare um, is the first um, rebuttal, which would be what's the evidence behind that. Um, medicine has pride itself to be evidence-based, um, and that is incre incredibly important when you're dealing with patients' lives. But often with these emerging technologies, there will not be any evidence um, to be able to show prior. And so we have to feel um, that we are able to take the chance to try and pilot them in small groups, um, and then use the data from that to kind of build on for the evidence. Um, uh, the other challenge really is around once you collect all those data, you often find that they're very distributed um, and unstructured. So do we have the experts to be able to um, analyze and make meaningful um, uh, outcome measures out of that, um, especially when often some of that data um, that you do need um, is in other sectors. So um, yeah, so those have been my experience so far. Um, my Three words of advice really um, is to observe, learn, and then don't forget to contribute. Thank you.